What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over non-skippable in-stream ads for YouTube and I'm going to be creating a campaign showing you how to use 15 seconds or shorter non-skippable in-stream ads and how you can create a campaign through Google Ads. So what I'm going to be doing today is promoting, it's not a real sale, but let's just pretend we have a 20% off all Halloween and fall decorations through October 15th for my website Beachfront Decor. So what I want to do is get that message out to people. So I'm gonna use 15 second non-skippable in-stream ads, which I've already created and I've uploaded to my YouTube channel. So for my Beach Run Decor YouTube channel, I just uploaded these three different videos here. You can see they're all 15 seconds and if we open them, you can see some of these different videos here. So this one says 14 seconds. So what you really want is to make sure it's at least 15 seconds or less and really between six or 15 seconds. So we have our three different advertisements here. They're all pretty similar, little differences in all of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to Google Ads, and once you have those videos uploaded to your YouTube channel, that's where you really wanna start. Make sure you have those videos uploaded to your YouTube channel, and make sure whatever it is you're, it, you're, that you're promoting, you have reflected on your website as well. So when people do go to your website, they don't just seem like it's completely blind and there's no offer there. So if you have some type of offer, make sure it's prominent on your website. So I've saved 20%. There's no promo code. This is not a real sale. This is just to use as an example. So if we come back over here to our Google Ads account, the first thing you wanna do is go into Tools and Settings and through Tools and Settings under Setup, you're gonna see Linked Accounts. You wanna make sure your Google Ads account is linked to your YouTube account. Very easy to do, especially if you're using the same Google account for both. But if we come over here to manage and link, you can see I have my Beachfront Decor account here. If you need to add a YouTube channel to Google Ads, click on Add Channel. You can either search for the channel or paste the URL directly. And if you don't have complete ownership over the account, then you're just gonna have to approve the channel being linked to your Google Ads account, but it's very easy to do. Just come in here to Linked Accounts, click on YouTube, and you'll be able to do the process by clicking on the plus sign here. So we're gonna come back to our account. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna create a new campaign. And the first thing we need to do is choose our campaign objective. If we're running a non-skippable in-stream ad and we wanna run those for our campaign, then the best objective to choose here is brand awareness and reach. Keep in mind, if you go to create a campaign without a goals guidance, you can choose video here and it will give you some different options for different campaign subtypes. And you can see one of the options is non-skippable in-stream. So we can choose that here or if we click on cancel, come back into the campaign screen, and we go to brand awareness and reach, we choose video. For a video reach campaign, you can see we have non-skippable in-stream. So that's what we're gonna choose here for the ways we'd like to reach our goal. So that is brand awareness and reach, video, video reach campaign, and then non-skippable in-stream, and we can click on continue. Hey everyone, thank you for your support watching my videos over the years. If you wanna to continue to support my channels while also using some of the best marketing tools, you can try either SCMrush or SpyFu if you haven't already. Both are great PPC and SEO tools. If you use the link at the bottom here for either one, they are affiliate links, so it will help support my channel and support Surfside PPC. If you're not interested, no problem. Back to the video. Okay, so let's name our campaign. So for this, we'll do non-skippable beachfront decor Halloween sale. Okay, we're gonna scroll down here. The only bid strategy we're allowed to use is target CPM. So we're bidding for the amount of time, for every thousand times our ad is shown. So you set a target CPM bid and that's how much you pay for every time, for basically a thousand views on our video since people can't skip them. So that's what how you're gonna bid for a non-skippable in-stream ad. So we're gonna scroll down here. Budget type, you could either choose a campaign total or a daily budget. Either way works. So if you know you're running this for a set period of dates, so right now it's September 10th, Let's say I just wanna end this sale on October 10th. What I could do for a campaign total is say, I wanna spend $1,000 on this campaign. So we set our budget amount at $1,000. You can see a $1,000 campaign total is similar to a $32.26 daily budget amount that runs for 31 days. So you can choose whether to do a campaign total or a daily budget. Either way works, you can always pause your campaign and adjust your budget as you go. I like to do a campaign total because it helps to understand kind of how much we wanna spend for a campaign, and then we know that we can optimize our campaign as we go to get the most out of our budget. So let's scroll down here. For networks, 
It's going to automatically select YouTube videos. So ads will appear on YouTube videos, channel pages, and the YouTube homepage. And then you can also choose whether or not you want to select video partners on the display network. I would recommend for a campaign like this to choose video partners on the display network because ultimately we're just trying to get video views. So we'll keep the networks as they're selected and then choose your location targeting. So whichever locations you serve with your products and services, in this case, I'm just going to choose United States. So that's going to be where I'm going to target language targeting. So you want to make sure you enter your language targeting here. I'm going to choose English. So that's going to be my language targeting. Select any of the languages your customers speak. So if you want to target multiple languages here, you can. But right now I'm just going to choose English and then we'll come down here to content exclusions. Define where our ads can show. So inventory type, what you can do if you want to exclude most types of sensitive content, choose limited inventory. I usually choose standard inventory. So expanded will run everywhere, but I just like to keep it as standard inventory because it doesn't limit our reach too much and it makes sure we're not showing on any videos that are really too graphic. So let's scroll down here, excluded types and labels. So one of the things I do is sometimes I will select to exclude embedded YouTube videos and live streaming videos. I just don't want our ads to show when people aren't actively clicking on new videos and watching new videos. So I think it helps to exclude these types and I'd rather just run them like we showed before up here on networks for YouTube videos and video partners on display network. So that's what we're going to be doing here. And then digital content labels to exclude. So you can exclude content that's not yet labeled or you can exclude mature audience content. It really depends on who you want to see your content. In this case, I'm going to keep this as is content not yet labeled. And then we're going to exclude embedded YouTube videos and live streaming videos. So related videos. So what you can do is add some related videos to help increase engagement. So it would be very useful for me to actually have a video of here's a bunch of the different Halloween products we're promoting. Here's our favorite products for Halloween 2022. And then put that video here as a related video because it's going to help people see some of the different products they can purchase from my website. I'll just as an example here, we'll add some of these different. So I'll do my version two here as a related video. Okay, we'll select that and we'll come over here and we'll do my version three as a related video. So we'll put those two as some of the different related videos and you'll see them at the bottom here. They're way too similar to the advertisement. So it would be much better to have videos that show some of the different Halloween products that have a beach theme. So we'll click on done here. So we have related videos here. So we're going to scroll down ad group name. So I'm only going to run one ad group for this campaign and I'm just going to target an audience segment, a few different audience segments here. So we'll just do in market Halloween audience. We'll scroll down here. So demographics for me, I generally exclude 18 to 24 and unknown for ages. I want to make sure people are 25 and up who are seeing my products because they're going to be more likely to purchase from my website based on all the data I have about people who come to my website. So you can exclude if you want to for in terms of parental status, household income, gender, age. I usually keep my targeting as this 25 and up and keep it open to everybody. So audience segments. So what you can do is if you know what you're promoting in my for mine, it's Halloween. Just come here and search Halloween and you're going to see some of these different options. So Halloween supplies, information about Halloween. So I can say in market Halloween supplies, Halloween decorations. We'll do maybe Halloween DIY ideas, items and decor and down here at the bottom, holiday items and decorations. So people who are in any of these different in market segments or in market other categories, we're going to be targeting with our advertisements. So it's going to make sure that people have some relevancy to what they're actively looking up to the advertisements that they're seeing. So we have our audience segments here. We have a ton of impressions available right now, so that's going to be no problem for us to reach our daily budget. Now, one thing you can do is narrow your reach with keywords, topics, or placements. So if you say you want your ads to show with videos that are about the topic of, and I come down here and say home and garden. So I only want my ads to show on videos related to home and garden. Our impressions goes from 6.9 billion to 180 million. I generally don't narrow too much here. For some cases, it might be worth narrowing where your ads show, but you can enter some keywords here and they'll find relevant content based on the keywords you enter. So if I do things like home decor, home and garden, 
it will focus on videos or websites that are related to whatever keywords you enter here. Now you can also do specific placements. This is really gonna limit your targeting. You can choose YouTube channels, videos, video lineups, websites, apps, and app categories. So if you want to try to find a bunch of different placements, this can be useful for some niches, but in this case, it's just not really useful for what I'm trying to accomplish. We'll just focus on our audience segments. Whatever they're watching, we don't really have a problem with that. It's just gonna be making sure our ad is being shown to them. So now we wanna put our YouTube video here and create our video advertisement. So let's start with version one here. We'll copy and paste the URL at the top, paste it right here, it will pull up our video. So it's gonna be a non-skippable in-stream ad. We need to put our final URL here. So I know I wanna send traffic to my Halloween decorations page here. So we'll do HTTPS and we'll paste our final URL here. So beachfront decor, beach Halloween decorations. So display URL, it's gonna be cut off probably, but we can just use this as our display URL because we have 255 characters. So we'll use the full URL as our display URL. Next is gonna be our call to action. So there's a lot of different options here for call to action. You have learn more, shop now, sign up, buy now. So use a call to action for whatever you want people to do on your website. In my case, it's shop now. We'll do a headline, I'll do 20% off you only get 15 characters so it's hard to fit these sometimes i could do 20 percent off decor i could do something like halloween sale halloween decor so we can you can try to find some different headlines you could always mix and match your headlines see what works best we'll do 25 dollars off decor okay next is going to be a companion banner so your companion banner is 300 by 60 pixels so you can see 300 by 60 here. So I'm gonna upload the companion banner I created. Okay, and you can see Halloween 20% off sale. It's not a huge image. So it's actually this image right here. So it's not a not that big. So I could have tried to fit my logo or something, but it's not a bad little uh, companion banner there. You just wanna make sure it reflects whatever it is that you're promoting. So add name one, what I'll do is video version one. And then we come down here so for the ad group, we can set our target CPM bid. They're recommending a bid of $9.62. I'll generally set my bid a little bit lower to begin with. And if I have no problem spending my daily budget and my campaign is spending consistently, I'll lower this bid over time. So you could always adjust your bids. Now, if we come down here to ad creation, we have our first ad created. So if we click to create a new video ad, what I can do is come over here get version two, so we'll copy and paste version two here and go through the same exact process. So I'm not gonna do this three separate times, but what you do wanna do is make sure when you're creating advertisements, you have at least two. It helps to have multiple advertisements just because then you're not showing the same exact ad to people. It's not as important to create a ton of different advertisements in the case of non-skippable in-stream because people can't really skip them anyway. And what we're trying to do is just get the message out there that we're running a Halloween sale. So we'll do two of these. We'll do video version two. Okay, and for the most part, I would do three different advertisements. So we have the third one here, but it's gonna be the same exact concept as we did for creating the other two. So we'll, we have our non-skippable in-stream. We'll set our final URL, come over here and copy and paste it here. This will set our display URL, call to action. So what we could do is shop now, and for this one, we could do something like Halloween sale. So set a couple different call to actions. That's not a bad thing to test. See if more people click on this advertisement depending on your headline. So we can upload an image here and select one we've already uploaded. We have video version two. So we have two different advertisements here. We have our target CPM bid set at $9 for this ad group. So now what we're ready to do is create our campaign. Okay, our campaign is ready and it's gonna start running now. So if we click on continue to campaign, a few different things that you can do after you launch it. You could always come here and edit. And what I like to do sometimes is just copy and paste this ad group because then it's gonna paste all of your advertisements as well. So we'll paste this here. And you can see we have this pasted now here. It's gonna be exactly the same as the other ad group. So it's gonna have the same ads in it. So any of the videos you created for your first ad group will now have this as well. So what you could do is come down here to audiences and you can adjust the audiences that you're targeting. So what I like to do sometimes is create a couple different ad groups because they're all gonna run the same video ads and you can always try different audiences out. So what I could do is try to find people who are maybe just generally looking for 
decor. I could try to find people who have interest in the beach, people who have who live near the beach. So I could try to use some of these different audiences and or you could use different content. So maybe I want to set some different placements or topics and choose to try to show my ads in different places. So that's one option that you have for the different ad groups. So once you're launched, you can always create more advertisements here. But what you want to do is let your campaign run and just look at your CPM bid, make sure your ad is spending. For a non-skippable in-stream ad, you're not going to see a ton of conversions. You might not see many conversions at all. So this is really trying to do more. And obviously when we created our campaign and we're looking at the goals, this is for brand awareness and reach. So when you're trying to drive sales and leads, you want to use other video formats, but for a 15 second non-skippable in-stream ad, brand awareness and reach, it's a great way to get your message out there. And then you can run sales or leads campaigns alongside this campaign. So some different options that you have if you are creating non-skippable in-stream ads. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.